Hey guys, welcome to another English commentary. This is actually a, a pro league match between Aids and CJ Antis fielding Zelos and Boxer, two uh, great players of the past. Originally Moltrap planned on doing this, unfortunately he had a computer glitch. And I'm in a really good mood, I'm going to end up getting a better paying job here fairly quickly. And uh, <laughs> excited about that. It's not my dream job with like Blizzard doing commentaries uh, for this professionally. By the way, go write letters to Blizzard. Um, <laughs> but uh, but definitely a good job, and the people there are very nice. So even though I've had a very long day, I think this is a good way to end it, commenting a classic matchup between Zelos and Boxer. Both these players being top-tier guys of the past, Boxer being uh, very dominant, uh, one, definitely the best StarCraft player of all time. But he's been slumping as of late. He uh, <laughs> lost a really tough match to Stork. And granted, Stork is Stork. I mean, he's one of the top ten players right now in all of StarCraft, but Boxer just got flat-out out microed, really, in, in kind of both players proxied. And you could tell he was very disappointed in himself, and he was kind of disappointed that he lost the match in general. He really wanted that match, uh, ended up losing it. Zelos uh, lost a very tough match to Kanata, and really he got outplayed almost in every regard. I feel like he got out micro macroed and strategized, uh, and really... that. I was kind of hoping that this would be the year of Zealous's comeback. He's not out of it yet, but if he continues playing like that, he's not going to get out of that first that sorry that round of 16. And, I, and after the first two matches in round 32, I thought Zelos was showing hints uh, of his kind of perfect Terran form again. Uh, we'll see uh, how this match ends up. Looks like both players approaching that middle lane. Boxer is going to send through that SCV using that kind of res push trick. Uh, it's going through. He, uh, yeah, going down the middle lane. We'll see if he decides to... I, I've never seen a player early expand in the middle lane. Probably going to put down a barracks. Uh, interestingly enough, it looks like Zelos is going to put a barracks on uh, his, his side of the middle lane. I'm not sure if he's going to encroach or lift it off. Uh, really, this is Monty Hall 2nd Edition, by the way. Uh, I don't know what the difference between the original Monty Hall and this is, but I'm going to assume it's it's fairly uh, similar, almost mirrored image of the map. Maybe a new expansion here, a new expansion there, but plays relatively the same. Uh, it's kind of been forsaken from MSL, which I'm sure Klaz appreciates. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, this, this map is very interesting simply because there's a lot of these res artifacts all across, which... In my opinion, favors Terran. It allows Terran to get the early second expansion. They can really build up their tech, uh, opens up a lot of options, and as long as they keep a good spot on their lanes uh, and build a little bit, basically, make sure they get a decent scout, uh, which is a little difficult, again, with the three lanes out there. But uh, just send an SCV up into the base. You know what's coming, and it makes it a little easier. Boxer producing a very fast Marine. Uh, looks like he's, yeah, he's going to open up that middle lane very quickly. And we'll see what his plan... I, I think he's up to something sneaky. He's up to something interesting. Uh, Zealous, in the meantime, floating his barrack uh, towards Boxer's base. I'm not sure to scout or just to kind of lift it and, and produce some Marines on that side. Uh, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like... Uh, Zelos is going to see this. <laughs> he put something down uh, on Boxer's side, but that Marine up there is going to stop that. Oh, he just put that. That was brilliant. Put down a Supply Depot to push his unit through. Usually you don't see that. Usually you'll see a second SCV going down, and it looks like a, a factory going up for Boxer. That's a pretty standard tech build. Same thing from Zelos. And really, both these players could use this win. I think their confidence on both sides has been shaken. Both former veterans, both former top-tier players, both of them could use this as kind of a confidence booster, uh, playing against kind of a former great, establishing themselves at, again as uh, an amazing uh, player. And it looks like Zelos going for two factories, or Boxer it has settled just for the single factory. A uh, Zelos getting that scout in. Two Marines chasing down Zelos' SCVs, and that's really that's the difference here, is those uh, kind of uh, about two Marines, worth of res and a little bit of change. Otherwise, Boxer looks like he's moving some troops around in the middle. We'll see what Boxer's long-term strategy is. Uh, Zealous looks like he's just going to do a straight vulture rush. I'm, I'm, or maybe, uh, wow, Starport going down for Boxer at a proxy location. That's going to be difficult for Zealous. One, for Zealous to spot out. He's already got that SCV in Boxer's base. Two Starports going down for Boxer. Boxer's going to do a very quick push into Rays. And I don't know how Zealous is going to spot that. I don't think he's going to have anything to fight that off. He hasn't even produced a Marine, and it looks like he's going straight into Vultures. He was going to push Vultures into Boxer's base. Uh, <laughs> excellent move by Boxer. I really like it at that location. And we saw this work uh, on Zodiac with Nada versus...
versus uh, I Love U, or sorry, I Love U V versus Nada. We'll see if it also works out for Boxer. Boxer uh, kind of pushing down that middle lane now, uh, forcing Zelos uh, in a defensive position. He's not going to spot this in time, though. Right? Those two raids are going to be out uh, very quickly. The first raid looks like it's going to... Oh, sorry, a, a control tower going down. I don't know if that's just to upgrade the raids. I'm assuming he's going raids here and not dropship simply because he only has a single factory. That control tower probably going down so he can get uh, cloaking. Uh, Boxer moving those Marines up to deny that that scout. That uh, barracks is entirely out of position. He's got, uh, yeah, again, he's, he's bringing in a couple Marines and, and these Vultures, uh, forcing Zelos back. Zelos is going to win this fight uh, here, but again, it's going to keep Zelos back for a moment and allow Boxer to get those Wraiths out. And uh, wow, this is a brilliant maneuver by Boxer. Those Rays are coming out now. Uh, you can see one producing there. That Armory going down for Zealous. I don't know if he scouted that out or realized... It. Yeah, it looks like those Vultures went by. I think they saw it. So I think he's getting that Armory probably to go quick uh, Goliath. Uh, I'm actually not sure if he saw it or not. Boxer trying to block his front door in the meantime with that Supply Depot. And these vul these Raids are going to come out. And we'll see how effective Boxer can be with those Raids before all these Vultures end up flooding into his base. Because really, uh, if... if uh, wow, looks like somehow the far left lane was opened up. This is going to come down to the wire, it looks like. Because if that... Again, if that Supply Depot goes down, Zealous might be able to end the game very quickly simply by taking out all the SCVs before significant Wraith Force out. Another uh, an engineering bay going down. Boxer managing to protect his front. Uh, the Vultures are attempting to attack uh, the SCV. It looks like uh, Boxer's just kind of bringing up Vultures here and there. Those Vultures desperately trying to... Now they're going to be able to flood through and we'll see if Boxer can keep his SCVs alive and get enough Wraiths out in the meantime to kind of... He's got a three Wraith Force going in, so... But, oh man, Goliath's out. Uh, for Zealous, this is going to be hard for Boxer... Uh, to be successful, it looks like that that cloaking technology is still researching. So, wow, Zealous in a very commanding position now. He has the race, he has the Goliath. He's going to be able to run up. He plants mines right outside the factory. Not that anything but vultures are going to be coming out of there. Uh, so I'm not. I'm kind of curious about that mine place. But in the meantime, uh, just kind of taking out SCVs left and right. And Zelos uh, in a very commanding position now. He's going to be able to take out these SCVs. Uh, and really, that's kind of. G I think that's GG for Boxer. We'll see how much longer it lasts, uh, or how effective that that attack will be. I'm not sure why Zelos isn't bringing up those raids. I think he realizes that cloaking technology uh, isn't place and he's going to wait until he has comps at and can pin those in. In the meantime he's really focusing uh, with on that SCV attack. Uh, several rays again out for Boxer so Boxer not entirely out of this but definitely uh, at an extreme disadvantage. He really can't produce any more rays at this point. Those two Goliaths down so uh, let's see if he can get in and do enough damage to, the, to, to that line. Uh, again getting attacked by those Goliaths. Let's see how quick how many SCVs he can take with the current amount of cloak he has and, and uh, kind of moving back and forth through the comps at. Really an interesting matchup here. Boxer refusing to give up up. He's going to try to tech out uh, everything uh, and basically, I, I don't know, force a draw here. He's got that single vulture in his base. Really, if I was Zealous at this point, I would just take my forces, go up and, and finish what's left of Boxer's base. Turrets, uh, <laughs> wow, uh, one rate down, two rates down. That's got to be GG at this point. But again, Boxer's still not giving up. He has that engineering bay down, so he's going to try to get up a turret. Uh, an expansion going down for Zealous. That's very intelligent by Zealous, in my opinion, making sure that even if he does lose this expansion, he's not going to lose the game. Surprisingly, Zealous not making the decision here, kind of sloppy, to go on and press on uh, Boxer's base, uh, force force everything out of that arena, go go send up some vultures or something. That race scouting out that second expansion, two vultures coming down for Boxer, uh, I don't, yeah, that looks like that bottom lane has been opened, I don't, I, I didn't notice who opened that lane again, but yeah, now Zello's finally keying in, realizing I, sh I should just go up and attack the base, those turrets down, so uh, the supply lines are protected, and really, Boxer in a, a very difficult position here, Zello's in a very commanding position, he has a lot of Goliaths out, he should easily be able to deal with those vultures, those mines, uh, I'm not sure if, Bo Boxer didn't have a machine shop down, so uh, I don't think he even has mines, so Zealous is probably going to come out on top here. <laughs> Boxer trying to block off with that Supply Depot, but again, that second expansion going up for Zealous. Zealous, uh, I think it's just a matter of time before he finally gets his forces up. Yeah, he gets his forces up. A tank out for Boxer, though, uh, really tenaciously holding on. He has gotten a, gotten a machine shop in the meantime, but just uh, oh, going to bring up his SCVs uh, with what little he has left to try to repair that tank and just kind of force build. Really, uh, oh, those mines now coming into play, uh, going and, and, bl and and blowing up that single tank. Oh, that, that's harsh. Uh, <laughs> and and Goliaths uh, are going to easily be able to take that tank. It doesn't have siege tech, and it's surrounded. Uh, and that's going to be GG right there. I like how Boxer uh, kind of uh, tenaciously fought to the end, and really kind of a little bit of a sloppy map on both part 
on both of their parts, but really you got to enjoy that. It was it was a very creative match. Uh, you can see Boxer again just frustrated with his play as of late. Zelos looks uh, kind of happy with himself, and maybe uh, this will give him some confidence uh, to play in, in the upcoming MSL against Kanata. I hope you guys enjoyed that match. This has been another audio commentary by Diggity. Uh, check out the Blue Report cast. It, it's going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, I think I have the website in my, my uh, profile, so go check that out. I'll talk to you guys later.